good Tuesday morning, South Florida. I'm Alexis Frazier in for Eric Etsy this morning. I'm JC Birch. Right now, all eyes are on Hurricane Barrel. The storm has now strengthened to a Category 5 hurricane. That's the strongest hurricane on the scale. It's also the earliest hurricane of that strength on record in the Atlantic. We're seeing new video of the storm's impact. This footage shows boats rocking in the rough waters of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And look at this new video of the damage to homes and buildings in the same area. The storm has left some regions with no water or electricity. And according to the prime minister there, it is devastating. Look at new satellite images right now from NASA showing what Hurricane Barrel looks like from space. We'll have more on the storm's track in just a moment. And right now, let's take a live look from our Miami Tower Cam. We could see more rain showers for your morning commute. Weather Authority meteorologist Brandon Orr is in for Julie Durda. He is standing by with your forecast. And you know what? We'll take a few rain showers if it means we don't have to put up with anything into the tropics because it has been busy there and barrel has been strengthening over the last 24 hours nonstop. Going back to yesterday morning, maximum sustained winds at 130 miles per hour and it's just been getting stronger ever since. Not one advisory from the Hurricane Center has shown weakening since then and now the maximum sustained winds are at that very powerful cat five of 165 miles per hour. The strongest hurricane ever recorded to develop this early into the season and we have it here in the eastern gulf which you can see is just an incredible size and incredible uh the consistency and the strength of it overnight hasn't shown signs of weakening yet look how circular that eye is that buzzsaw shape as it cuts across the caribbean thankfully it's out into the middle of the open water but it is going to make a closer approach to jamaica than what it looked like yesterday we do expect at least some weakening though as it moves towards the western caribbean and especially as it gets closer to the Yucatan Peninsula, eventually going into the Gulf. Anywhere you see color here, strong wind shear that'll tend to tear apart the storm a little bit. That's why we expect it to weaken as it moves into the Western Caribbean, likely impacting the Yucatan Peninsula and making a landfall there. The center of the cone is somewhere around Tulum. That's going to be late Thursday night into early Friday morning. Crews there already starting to respond and prepare for this hurricane, knowing what it did to the Windward Islands. Check it out. It almost seems peaceful here in the eye of Hurricane Barrel, but this is a deadly history making monster that's been growing in power. It is total devastation. Total, total devastation. Barrel is now the earliest Atlantic Category 5 ever recorded. More broadly, it's the earliest major hurricane there in 58 years. And it's the easternmost to form in the tropical Atlantic in June. The National Hurricane Center says it's been getting stronger, hitting St. Vincent, Barbados, and other places as a Cat 4 before strengthening to a Category 5 last night. This is, this is, this is madness. I have never seen this in my 46 years of life. For now, the eye of Hurricane Barrel is in fairly open waters of the Caribbean Sea. It's expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican Republic beginning today. It could eventually hit Mexico, but the weather in Cancun still beautiful for now. That community is getting some schools ready to use as shelters since it's clear what Hurricane Barrel can do. There's nothing more we can do but, sit, but stand and watch total destruction. Our livelihood going down the drain. Like I said, thankfully, no local impacts expected from Barrel. We're just getting general showers off the water. I want to give you the heads up of those in case you're headed out and about. You may hit some wet roadways at times. Nothing too widespread, not as widespread as yesterday, at least for right now, but that could change at any point this morning. I think we'll see more showers and thunderstorms develop. Coconut Grove got it headed towards Miami Springs. Heads up there. Occasionally, we'll get these showers and thunderstorms developing. You can see right on top of us, even into this afternoon, it's going to be hit or miss. Some of this rain could briefly come down heavy, so maybe a flood of or two in places that can pick up maybe two, three inches of rain in a quick time. High temperatures will stay into the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees. It is not going to be that way coming up for 4th of July. I'll show you that forecast ahead. Well, today, President Joe Biden is expected to discuss Hurricane Barrel as he attends a briefing about extreme weather. It's happening at the D.C. Emergency Operations Center. It's an annual briefing on federal preparedness for everything from hurricanes to wildfires. The briefing comes as NOAA is expecting a busier than usual hurricane season this year. So remember, you can always get up to date information with our free Match Tracker app. Download it right now on your smartphone and you can watch live streaming coverage of our newscast and get the latest details as we track the tropics.